是福。Welcome to another geography tutorial. In this video, we will be covering gradient, and we are using this topographical map of the Midela East of Limpopo. And please note the scale is one is to fifty, fifty thousand. So gradient, what is gradient in geography? It's basically the calculation of the slope between two points so we use the formula which is gradient equals to vi over he so basically your vi which is a vertical interval is the difference in height and then your horizontal equivalent is your distance between two points so let's look at the example and work out the solution so in this video i'll be using a question from this book um we and we're focusing on question 1.8 over there so it says calculate the average gradient from trick bacon a2 in block a5 southward for 950 meters to the reservoir at 1070 meters so let's quickly write this information down so from trick bacon 82 tb 82 in block a5 and from reservoir which is R at 1070 meters. So let's, let's work it out. So basically the question is asking us to calculate the gradient from this trick bacon over here. I'm just gonna zoom a bit so that you guys can see, but here's your A and then your block a5 is somewhere here so that's the trick bacon over there and in the reservoir that is needed it's somewhere here in block b5 as well so i'm just gonna zoom so that you guys can see that so as you can see that's your trick bacon over there with its height um, which is uh 1366.7 meters and the reservoir that we need to calculate the gradient or use for gradient calculation is somewhere here. And you should note that it doesn't show any height uh, closer to it. But we know there's a uh, contour line over here, which is 1060 meters. And as you increase or go up the slope, your contour line increases. So we know um, this contour line over here, it will be uh, as the contour interval of this map is 20, we know this one will, uh, it will be 1060 plus 20, which is 10, 1080. So remember the reservoir, it's 1070, right? So we said the height of the trick bacon is 1366.7 meters. So let's, let's work this out. Remember your formula is gradient equals to VI over H, H, E. Okay, so we're gonna first work out your VI. So your VI will be equals to, but your VI, you should know that it's just the difference between the two height, right? So uh, we're gonna take the biggest height, which is 1366,7 of the trick bacon and minus it um, or minus the reservoir the height of the reservoir which is 1070 meters and your answer will be 296,77 meters so how do we calculate horizontal equivalence 
right? So remember, the horizontal equivalence is basically the distance between the two points. So I'm going to zoom and measure the distance using my ruler as when we calculate distance on the, on the map. So I'm going to measure my HE from the trick bacon 82 and my reservoir over there using my ruler. So as I measure there, I get something like 1.9 centimeters. Now, please remember that HE is actually the distance between two, two points as we measured using the uh, the ruler there so it's just the distance remember you're going to take your distance and time is it by scale because every uh, every distance that you measure from the map you need to convert it using the scale so i measured my distance between the two points as uh, 1.9 centimeters so he will be equals to 1,9 centimeters so remember that every distance that you measure using your ruler gonna time by scale so I'm gonna time this 1.9 centimeters using my scale which is 50 50,000 is to 50,000 so 1.9 centimeters times 50,000 which is also in centimeters but when you get here we analyze the question because our VI is in meters, we need to convert our HE as well to two meters. So from here, it's basic mathematics. So 1.9 centimeters times 50,000 will give you 95,000. Remember, it's still in centimeters. So remember, we need to convert this HE to meters because um, our VI is in meters. Now, when you go back, you know that we use KH, DM, DCM. So we are converting from centimeters, which is somewhere here, which is this one. I'm gonna put our one over there, and there's our meters. We just put two zeros. So we're gonna divide by a hundred over here and 100 will cancel this one and your answer will be nine uh, 950 meters so from here we can just substitute everything back so remember formula is g equals to vi over he which is equals to our vi it's 296,7 meters divided by HE is 950 meters. So from here, you apply your basic mathematics. This will be equals to 296 or 296.7 divided by 296, meaning 296 into 296.7 goes once and 296 or 950 divided by 296,7 your answer will be 3,20188 but you only take two numbers of the comma which is 3,2 so basically when you get to the step you just divide the bottom by the um, by the top so we get 1 is to uh, 3 or 1 divided by 3,2. So when you get to this point, this is just a ratio. This is not our final answer, but it's just a, a ratio. But we can write this as 1 is to 3,2. So this will be our standard or our calculation meaning, which is um, our gradient. So how do we interpret this gradient over here? This means for every 3,2 meters distance that we travel horizontally, we will go up by one meter uh, in elevation. So what does this tell us? It tells us that 
um, this is a very steep hill. So the smaller the number after this column, the steeper the, the gradient. But the bigger the number, meaning if you get 1 is to 300, meaning that's a gentle slope. But in this case, this is a very steep gradient because 3,2 is fairly a short distance. Okay.